Hey guys, I have a short video for you today, but hopefully it's pretty helpful. We're going to look at my 2019 Yamaha YXZ 1000R SS, but this should go for all the different YXZ years. I've looked at a lot of different videos and manuals and it seems to be about the same process for all of them. I'm going to show you how to switch between kilometers per hour and mile per hour on your speedometer, how to switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit on your engine temperature gauge. I'm also going to show you how to set your shift light points as well as the pattern that the light blinks. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how to set the clock on your dashboard. And then at the end, I'm going to throw in a video of how to adjust the steering column. If it's your first time doing it, it's kind of difficult to figure out. It takes a lot more muscle strength than you think it is going to. So let's check these things out. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to switch between kilometers per hour and miles per hour. So you'll see right now I'm in kilometers per hour and I'm in the United States and I would like miles per hour. So you're going to keep the key off, hold down the select button, and while you're holding the select button, turn the key on and that switches over to miles per hour. And then to switch it back, you do the same thing, just turn the key off hold the select button and then turn the key on with the select button held. So that's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you how to change between Celsius and Fahrenheit on your engine temperature gauge. Right now you can see it's coming up here. My engine temperature is in Celsius, but I'd like it to be in Fahrenheit. So what I'm going to do is hold down the reset button, turn the key on and then let go. And now it's in Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to show you how to set the shift light for the tachometer. The shift light just comes on and tells the driver when they need to shift up. So to program this, you're going to hold down the mode button and turn the key on, but then keep the mode button held down until the screen goes blank. And then you'll see this shift light comes on. So there's three things that you need to set while you're programming this. The first mode we're in right now, you're going to set the pattern of your shift light. I like the solid shift light, but to cycle through the patterns, you can hit the reset button. You'll see there's a fast blinking light, a slow blinking light, and then you're back at solid. I like the solid because it comes on and it's not too distracting. So I'm going to keep that. To make that selection, you hit mode. That moves us on to our second step. The second step is setting where at on the tachometer that you want the shift light to come on. Mine's set to 8,000 RPM, but it comes on quite a bit. So I think I'm gonna jump mine up to 10,000 RPM. I do have an ECU tune on mine, so it's allowed to rev a little bit more. So every time you hit reset, it's gonna jump up 500 RPM until it maxes out and then it goes back to 7,000. So I'm just gonna hit reset a few times and get to 10,000. There, so now my shift light won't come on till 10,000. So I'm going to make that selection by hitting mode. And now we're at our third and final step. This is where we want the light to shut off. So I want the light to be on between 10,000 and 12,000 RPM because that's the max. So I want it on the entire time. So I'm good with 12,000 RPM. So I'm going to hit mode and then we're done. It goes back to your normal screen. Now I'm going to show you how to set the clock on your dashboard. You're going to need the key on for this. And if the clock isn't showing up in the bottom right corner, just hit mode a few times and you'll get to your clock. There's my clock. So I did set this back so I'm able to adjust it. It's actually 1124 right now. So I'm going to hit select and reset. Hold those buttons down at the same time until the hour number starts flashing like that. And then just hit reset to go up a number. So it is 11. I'm going to hit select to move over to the minutes. I'm going to set it for 24. Just up one. Hit select. And your clock is set. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the steering wheel. A lot of people know how to do this. But if you're doing it for the first time, it's kind of hard to find the lever. And also it takes a little bit more strength than you think it's going to take. So the lever is located down here on the underside of the steering column. It's a little black lever. You're going to pull it towards you. So it only moves a tiny little bit. So 
just put some pressure on that lever and then you got to put a little pressure on the steering wheel whichever direction you want to go and then where when you get it where you want it you just let go of the lever and then it's locked in place it's really tight and it doesn't have to fall into any certain holes so you can put the steering wheel just wherever wherever you want it so you can get it exactly right but that's all you need to do I apologize if this video isn't as entertaining as some of my riding videos and modification videos that I've been putting out lately but I've been seeing these questions a lot on the forums and I'd really like to have this video to share to help people out if this video did help you maybe subscribe to the channel we have a lot of side-by-side -side, quad off-road content in general we do a lot of modifications trail riding tips and tricks, things like that. So, but thanks for watching today. I'll see you later.